Welcome to Private Club Radio, your weekly source for industry education, news and discussion. Broadcasting from Tampa, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, here is your host, Gabriel Aloisi. Welcome to episode 91 of Private Club Radio. We're going to do a little something different this morning. I had a really a good episode planned for us, but after I opened my Facebook here at 6 o'clock in the morning to see uh, what happened out in Las Vegas, had to change today's subject matter because I think what I'm going to have to say to you today is a lot more important and a lot more timely than what we were going to talk about, which was great. And I will say we had an awesome guest lined up and we will bring you that guest next week for sure. But with over 50 dead, 200 injured, I think I would be doing you a disservice if I did not speak about what just happened in Las Vegas over the overnight. Really saddening to hear that there was a mass shooting at the Mandalay Bay Hotel and what was very interesting about what happened is the gentleman, <laughs> yeah, how can I call him a gentleman? The guy who did this atrocious act actually opened up his window from his hotel room and shot down onto the crowd who was gathered to hear this uh, country music concert last night, but shot down out into the outdoor crowd of this venue. And that is just extremely scary. My wife, for instance, is a mental health counselor. Anytime something like this happens, it really affects people in lots of different ways. You know, anxiety levels go up and concerns for even leaving their leaving their house go up and really triggers a lot of bad feelings in people. You can probably hear it in my voice that I'm just a little shook up. And uh, I think a lot of people are. And rightfully so. It's just so appalling that things like this take place in our country in 2017. What's crazy and for me personally that I was just searching, me and my wife were going to take a trip to Vegas. We said, well, let's go in December and watch a a couple concerts. There's a Ricky Martin, who she likes is out there. And I think Jennifer Lopez has her own show. And we, I was actually literally searching for plane tickets, not only two days ago to go see a bunch of concerts in Las Vegas. And then this happens. I have a number of family members in Las Vegas and haven't been able to verify if they were at the concert or not. And I'm sure a lot of people listening to this are in the same boat. Now, the reason I want to bring this up is because I travel to clubs all over the country. And what happens is I walk through the doors of just about every club that I travel to and I'm oftentimes not even greeted at the door. If there's a gate, it's probably a 50-50 chance if they ask for my ID. They certainly aren't searching my car. And I really feel strongly that it's, it's time as an industry that we wake up to the world that we're living in. And as a private club, it's completely within your right as a manager, as a board member, as a member of your private club, to require that each and every single person who comes to the club registers. The reason I know this is not currently happening beyond my own experience is I was just giving a seminar and we talked about, you know, how do you get people's contact information? It's so hard to get people's contact information so that we can then market back to them. Well, putting marketing aside (laughs) and, and, you know, marketing is so secondary to, to this issue that I don't even care about the marketing at this point. The point is you need to be getting, you need to be registering every single guest that comes into your property because you've got to keep your members safe. You owe it to the members to give them a safe, relaxing environment. You cannot in good conscience do that. In my opinion, you can't in good conscience do this if you don't know who's coming through your doors. It's, it's just shocking to me. And it's a sad thing because I wish we didn't have to have this conversation. I really do. I wish we didn't have to worry about gunmen coming into places and and shooting up venues and gatherings of people who are just there to have a good time, who are doing nothing else but just enjoying themselves. But there's a liability in the private club world and we need to address it. It's time to address it. I gave you those stats a few weeks and let me pull those back up 
the McMahon Group survey because, again, this is extremely timely. So the McMahon Group just recently conducted their security survey. 99% of clubs said that their club is a safe and secure environment for members. And the information goes on to say that um, only 70% of clubs have a surveillance system. I say only 70 because I think at this point, every club should have a surveillance system at a minimum. Um, 60% have had incidents at their club, whether that's trespassers, car break-ins, vandalism, etc. Listen, I don't know how 99% of people can say that their club is safe when I can walk into 99% of clubs without even showing an ID, without anyone knowing who I am. It's just crazy. It's absolutely insane. I know I'm being blunt here, but it's insane that I can do that. In, in Manhattan, I've walked into prestigious business clubs with some of the top people in the world probably gathered there, and I'm not even asked who I am. I just walk right in with a bag, you know, with my briefcase, whatnot. It's time to have someone at your door, at your gate, checking people's IDs and making sure that every single guest is registered. It's completely within your right as a private club to know who's coming through your doors because the safety of your members is on the line. Just since this show has been on for since 2015, we've had hundreds of mass shootings. If you look at the stats, there's been hundreds of mass shootings. Some of them get more attention than others, but people are walking into churches. They're walking into concerts. They're walking into nightclubs and they're walking into places where people gather and your club. I'm going to assume if your doors are open, have lots of people gathered on Friday nights, on Saturday nights and other times during the week throughout the year. So it's time for us to stop whatever it is that we're doing and create a disaster plan. Go to episode number 44 of Private Club Radio with Alan Akats and listen to what Alan had to say about what you need to do to create a plan for your club. That's the first and foremost thing. That's your homework for this week. And that's really all this episode is going to be about, is to make sure that you have a plan in place and that you begin to start finding out who is walking through the doors of your club and the members are going to be okay with this. Believe me, you know, in a, there's going to be a pe- couple people who squawk at the idea of, Oh, I don't want to have to register my guests and it's going to take more time. And I just want to come and play golf. But this is where you have to just stand up and say, this is a security problem that we have. And it needs to be solved. And it's going to be slightly inconvenient to you, Mr. Jones. But for the safety of our membership, we need to have guests registered and to make sure we know who is coming through the doors of our club. That's it for this week. I hope I never have to get on the air and talk about one of these things happening at one of our clubs. But if we don't do something about it, it will. At some point, Someday, sometime, it's going to happen. Don't let that be your club. I'll see you back here next week. Until then, here's to your membership success. Success.